Hey everybody, we're the nerds, and today we have a little road trip. We're gonna head to Bucky's. We're gonna go to the uh, I don't know Welcome Center. I felt like why are we going there? Well, sadly, the rocket's gonna be taken away from us. Uh, so if you ever drove past the Alabama Welcome Center, you know that there's a giant rocket there, and it's just an icon. So we're gonna see it. The Welcome Center has already been torn down, and the rocket is still left until the end, possibly in November. It could be earlier. Uh, so definitely going to Bucky's, going to the uh, Welcome Center. Uh, I think the Bucky's Car Wash is open now in Athens, Alabama. So when you go to the Car Wash for the first time, and that sounds crazy, like, well, I'm going to their cars too. But it's a huge car wash, so a little bit of a vlog type video today. Uh, so that being said, we're going to hit the road and uh, go on down to see the rocket at the Welcome Center. Steph, you ready? I'm ready. Let's hit the road and see the rocket for maybe the last time, sadly. Let's go. <laughs> Does anybody else honk their horn when they what do you used to do, Steph? New state? I used to do every time we would one mile leave one state and go into another one. Excuse me. Excuse me, Gypsy. Excuse me, Gypsy. Oh, She's being cool. very rude. Um, no, I would always go like if we were in Tennessee going into Alabama. You would say Tennessee, 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 Tennessee until you cross the line. And then you would say Alabama, 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 Alabama. I can't say it that many times that quick. I get tongue tied. But yeah, Jeremy always honks. Well, Jeremy doesn't always honk. Actually, I think his dad honks. My dad does, yeah. And his dad brother. Does. I think it's. He was the only. He found out recently he's the only one that doesn't honk whenever he does go across state line. Oh, there's the sign for the rest area. They have it closed rest down. Rest area closed. They're supposed to be tearing down the whole rest area as well. Yep. Uh, so we're getting off here at Ardmore, and there's a road behind, once you get off here, that you can go down behind the Space Center, or uh, Space Center, behind the, uh, the Welcome Center. Center. Yeah. So we're going to we'll go behind it. And here it is. Maybe the last time we see this driving-wise. Man, so, this is such an iconic symbol here for, like, every time that's where we you go off. to the beach, I'm always like, have we, have we passed the Huntsville? <laughs> Rocket yet? Yep, yeah, that's where you get off at. The whole rest area is closed. The whole building is gone now. So the, you've already tore oh, wow. down the They've entire building. They've already leveled building. the building, yeah. Yep, the building's gone. There's the rocket. Oh, wow. We've arrived at the Welcome Center. As you can see, it looks totally different nowadays. So the building was over there to your right, and it's all completely tore down. They're rebuilding a whole new one, and then there's the rocket that's going away very sadly. It's over 16 stories tall, so 160-ish feet plus. Been there for 44 years. It's just sad to see this go. You know, it's it's just sad. This is an iconic landmark. You pass by it so many times. It's really cool to finally see it uh, for possibly the last time. That's why I drove down here. Um, hopefully, they'll do something here in the future. It's unknown exactly what's going to happen here. We've heard rumors that. They're first, they're going to try to uh, renovate it. This costs millions of dollars, and they said no. They said they may put something else here that's not like a full, like real rocket. Uh, and then we said they're going to put nothing. So it's been depending on which news story or news site you read, it's really hard to say for sure what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, it's been here for 44 years. Wow. And this is, you know, uh, Huntsville is known as the Rocket City. That was the uh, place where the rockets were developed uh, to put man on the moon. Uh, and this is a Saturn 1B rocket. I believe there's only two left. I believe in the world is what I read. Uh, so only just a couple left. But this is our, where we are now. And this here is the road leading back here behind um, the uh, Welcome Center. This fence used to be a locked gate right here. So you can never get in here. It is a closed construction site. Um, but yeah, there's the rocket right there. Beautiful. It's definitely in disrepair. You know, after 44 years and not a whole lot of maintenance done to it, it's, it's definitely in disrepair. They've already started removing, or looks like they've already removed the engines as well. But there you go. One last look at the rocket. Driving past it now. This may be our last look at it. Our next trip down this way is in December. So there's all the construction equipment there and everything. And yeah, just sad to see it go. But definitely really different. It's the whole walking center and everything. Just 100% gone now. There's Saturn 1B, a Huntsville Welcome Center uh, rocket. Maybe the last time we see that. I know I said it a hundred times probably already, but it is just sad. Every time we go past them, we used to go to the beach quite a bit. We still go a couple times a year. It felt like we almost went, I'd say like four, five, six times a year for a while there. Then we started going to the Smokies more. Uh, but Steph would always be like, we went to Rocket yet? 
or a second fall asleep and then we <laughs> wake up like i'd be so <laughs> mad like you didn't wake me up for the rocket <laughs> yeah did you pass the rocket yet you didn't wake me up yeah. so uh and i know everybody who watches this who's drove this way probably has a similar memory of you know being a kid and seeing the rocket and just being super excited or maybe an adult is still being super excited or maybe your spouse or loved one or relatives like hey uh, you didn't tell me the rocket was coming up or especially at nighttime, you see that red blinking light off in the distance, and you just knew something cool was coming. So a lot of a lot of good memories, and something so simple as a rocket on the side of the road, but for 44 years it's been there, and millions of people have seen that rocket. So it's sad to see it go, but uh, yeah, we're headed off to Bucky's now. Uh, we're on that little back road now. We're just gonna get back on 65 here in a few minutes off this little back road and uh, check out the Halloween merch at Bucky's. One of the coolest Halloween things they have this year is this Bucky's Inflatable. Look at that. Got the t-shirt on. Looks like a little vampire there with the fangs and the puppy. And he's $59.98. Six feet tall right there. For as you come in the door. But I absolutely love it this year. Heading into Bucky's. You can already see the Halloween merchandise right over here. A lot of great merch this year for Halloween. You got the uh, free samples going on over here. So the sea salt, the caramel on the uh, beaver nuggets. And it's not too bad, bad today. The Athens, Alabama one has historically been not too crowded uh, compared to like Cross for the other ones. So it's like a nice little break. Uh, but there's uh, Bucky himself there today. So he's out and about. You can see him right there. Bucky the Beaver. <laughs> How you doing? We got a picture with him a little bit ago. So it's cool to see him walking around. That's all the drink sections here. The Beaver or the uh, barbecues over there and Stephanie's over here getting a drink so that's what I'm gonna head to but it's not that crowded at all. I'm gonna grab some drinks real quick and then we'll head over and look at the uh, Halloween merchandise a little bit closer. Here's some of the Halloween merch. They always have a great selection here and also the Brendan at Bucky's selection we'll show you in a minute. Uh, which better have my candy. <laughs> that's that's funny. Pick your poison. A little skull up there, a little stack the bones, like a little Jenga game with a skeleton there. You have the black plate with the uh, gold like uh, skeleton on it, looks really nice. So some Day of the Dead merch there. The white pumpkins up there, like a plush material, looks really nice. There's a skeleton right there. They have a lot of great stuff this year. Lazy bones right here. And these cups down here are really nice. There's some cups there. These like black with the copper. Looks really nice right there. Those are some really nice cups. They got a lot of weight to them too. They're pretty good and heavy. Tap and collection right there. Got a little small beer tap. And some little pillows down here as well. On the other side here, you have more than Halloween merch. You have the white and the orange pumpkins up top. There's some little dolls coming out of the pumpkins right there. You got little uh, candy scoops there. That's pretty cool. That'd be good if you're like a charcuterie board or just having some candy laid out. There's a bunch of pumpkin plates down here. There's a little like a little cheese knife spread right there with the pumpkin plate with the ghost on it. You got these really cool pumpkin lanterns right here. Those are really nice. I don't see a price on those, but they're solar powered pumpkins. There's plenty more pumpkins down below. Some pillows right there. <laughs> Creep it real. And it has like a little candy corn on it as well, which looks really neat. There's some like little ramekins right there. A little candy or a little witch hat uh, out there as well. Let's get some more plastic cups over here and a little oven rag there. And look at these cups too. You got the little uh, witch upside down right there, the feet coming out. And there's some more pumpkins there. Happy Halloween sign. There's like a little candy corn flag right there. And then I turn around this way. And over here, I saw more shirts. This is the Simply Southern shirts over here. There's some cool designs over here. Oh, I like this one right here. Halloween thanks, miss. <laughs> so you got the Halloween, you got the uh, Thanksgiving, and you got the Christmas right there. That's a, I like that shirt quite a bit. Here is the Vampire Plush they have this year. This looks really neat. So it's got the little t-shirt on there, you got the little fangs, you got the little cape there, and it's, of course his tail, his little hat. These are $14.98. And this is the blanket this year, which is also $14.98. See, it's really nice colors like this year. I like, the, I like that design a lot too, but maybe one of my favorite Bucky's beavers I've seen so far. And here's our favorite part, the Bucky's Brandon merchandise. 
You got all your t-shirts up here. Love the design this year on the front side here. You got the three little pumpkins there with the middle one being the Bucky Beaver on it, which looks amazing. There's the uh, Bucky Plush. And there's the back of it there. So if you've got it haunted, love the design this year. Still glows in the dark like normal. Adults 18, youth is 15. They have coloring books down here. And these tumblers this year are amazing. Look at this tumbler right here. So you've got it haunted, glows in the dark. Look at that. There's the pumpkins on the back. But this design, I just love this design this year. These cups were, I don't know how much these cups were. I'm sure there's a price on there somewhere. But I don't see a price on the cups, but uh, they're $20 for the uh, double pint, which is right there. And then here's the ones for the little kids, the babies and the little, little kids here. So, absolutely love this merchandise this year. Looks really good. So there was Bucky's Halloween merchandise. Bucky was out walking around again. Uh, we've had a lot of good luck recently with Bucky, uh, seeing him quite often, uh, especially at the different locations, cross release like every time. Um, we're gonna head over to the car wash next. The car wash was closed at grand opening and also closed, I feel like maybe a month or so after grand opening as we came back to this location. Uh, but it is open now, so we're gonna have the car wash for the first time. We'll film that and show it to you. And then we got a whole bunch of merch this year. So I love the new merchandise. Um, these little ramekins i know we showed you inside but we got a couple of those and then we also for stephanie she loves the tumblers and cups quite a bit we grabbed one of these one of the dark ones right here this is one of my favorite cups they've ever done like the design on it good weight to it and everything it's a yukon outfitters double pint and uh i don't know if it says the hours on here or not six hours hot 24 hours cold 32 so ounce. 32 ounce that's really cool and then we got the shirt as well uh, there's the front of the shirt right there and then if you want to turn to the back side <laughs> there's the back side of the shirt right there you can see also glows in the dark again so that's really cool and the shirt tags are stickers again so sometimes they've not had the stickers on the shirt tags but if you get your shirt uh check the little tag for it there may be a sticker you can pull off on there um got a couple uh nuts and things like that i love the uh, dark chocolate covered almonds are fantastic Some things we can't show. and a couple things we can't show um so some birthday gifts uh, for some people coming. Well, it's already past their birthdays, <laughs> but uh, we had to get a couple of birthday bags. Just don't want to shut on camera. So it'll be a little surprise. They love Bucky's. Um, yeah, gonna head to the car wash right here behind us. We're gonna have to go through the first time ever. It's a long one, uh, so we'll show you that. And then uh, it's a, maybe it's the whole day, right? I don't know. Maybe no. Maybe. We're gonna try to find a spirit Halloween here. We'll check in spirit Halloween, Halloween. Halloween, and we'll see if Toll House is open. Um, I went to Toll House Cookies many, many years ago, not far from here. Uh, it's still just a Toll House cookie, but it's a cookie store, kind of like you know, any cookie store I go to, but it was cool as Toll House. But I don't know if they're still in business. Uh, Toll House obviously is, but the cookie store here, I don't know if it is. We'll check that out too, just if it's open. Uh, ready for the car wash stuff? Yeah, it looks so. It's a car wash. <laughs> it's a huge car wash at that. It is. So. It's really big. It'll, it'll be cool. Yep. I'm going to head into the car wash. There's an R in there. If you don't believe me, pull open the dictionary look it up it's there oh i love the purple oh it smells good oh look at the beaver whoa oh that was cool oh uh, is he gonna be on the sunroof yep. yeah i <laughs> barely caught him that was worth 16 dollars. they do have a 13 dollar option as well Ooh, that's a pretty good That's a pretty cool car wash. So what was the coolest part, Steph? Not only the smells, it smelled amazing. What? But what was that first part? Oh, seeing Bucky? Yeah, they had a little Bucky 
like uh, projection onto the windshield mm -hmm. onto the car went all the way around so that was really cool yeah, that was and that was probably one of the best smelling ones it sounded really, really good. good now yeah. our local one does do scents throughout the year they have scented car washes i'll do like a peppermint i'll do like a different things for the different time of the year but most car washes don't ever smell this good so that was pretty cool uh off to see maybe if the cookie store is still open and if we can find a spirit halloween don't know if they're open yet in this area but we're gonna look and see um i'm excited for a 16 dollar car wash what are you getting at spirit halloween if you find one nothing i just spent like 600 dollars there <laughs> yes, maybe i'll buy actually i'll get some mist, yeah blind bags and then maybe a funko pop or two yeah. so we are maybe getting something but yeah with that being said on to our next trip $16 car wash well worth it I like this car wash just for the record Jeremy likes every car wash Jeremy wants to wash his car every day possibly true don't tell anybody secrets <laughs> next stop Spirit Halloween we're in Huntsville Alabama right now so not far from like the uh, Huntsville Space and Rocket Center and we will put a full video of Spirit Halloween in the description below while you're back in Nashville but Another Spirit Halloween. Coming into Spirit Halloween, all the cool animatronics again. This one right here, they didn't have back at ours. This one squirts water as well. I don't see the one on the ground. I don't think they have water in it. But, it's the cool alien right there. There's his little water nozzle right there. Well, we did not get to see this one yet in person. This is $399.99. This is a huge Spirit Halloween here. Over here is the clown that we have at the house, the Killer Clown Slim. We'll put the uh, short video and the long video in the description below from the uh, Full Spirit Halloween store along with the short. We'll also put our shorty short in the description below as well from last year. Uh, but I really love the Killer Clown Slim. He's over seven feet tall, so it's really cool to see him again here. We have him at the house. Got your merchandise in here, mask and everything. And then they have this cool little cemetery over here again. There's the ghost there. A gargoyle. This is just a really nice spirit Halloween here. And this little setup here is a lot darker than before. So, there's the bat. The bat's gonna open his arms up here in a second, which is really cool. If he'll do it. Oh, I don't know if he's working right now. And then, this, we love Gordo over here too. This is one of our favorites right here, Gordo. <laughs> Love it. Heading out of Spirit Halloween. Uh, we'll have those videos in the description below again to see kind of the full videos and some of our short videos we did yeah. of stuff from Spirit Halloween. This one didn't have a whole lot of stuff in stock. And we also no. are looking for the Killer Clowns Mystery Minis again. Well, they're actually called Mystery Minis, but little mystery bags. Mm -hmm. And we asked, they, they're still in the back because they haven't got a lot of stuff out yet either. Yeah, uh, this one wasn't so. very good. We didn't get anything in there. Um, they didn't have that animatronic though, the alien thing. Yeah, that, that was one we haven't seen yet. That wasn't at our location, but our location went to had everything in stock. Uh, yeah. Listen, this guy said there's a lot in the back. There's no way to tell what's even back there right now. So uh, we'll probably go to some more Spirit Halloweens in the future. Nashville area is called when they're opening up. Uh, but this one, not so great Huntsville. But next time we'll see if we can find the cookie store if it's still open. Mm -hmm. And then what else was it? Is that it? You wanted to go see if that Miss Winters was still here. <laughs> oh, the Miss Winters? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about Miss Winters. We'll find out. Well, we made it to the Miss Winters. The sign says lobby closed, but based off the fact that one sign is missing up there, it looks like maybe even a Hardy sign at one point, and that every door is locked and no one's here, I'd say it may be permanently closed, not just a lobby closed anymore. Uh, also, the cookie place is closed permanently, so no cookies and no uh, Miss Winners, but look at this. When's the last time you've seen a Miss Winners? Yeah. Oh, I love the cinnamon swirls. I don't even like cinnamon, cinnamon swirls, but I love the cinnamon the swirls. Biscuits were really good. State biscuits were really good. The fried chicken was good. I also remember going to the counter and you get those jalapenos at the jar they have there. Those were so good. But yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll just. The, it's overgrown. There's, there's a lot of weeds everywhere. Our lobby is closed. It says we're open every day. They close at 7, and we're definitely here before 7. So I don't know. Well, well you see how overgrown it is, too. And there's the menu for it right there. Oh, super cinnamon squirrel. I see it there, boo. Yeah, this is Catfish Cabin. What in the world? I've never heard of that before. But. So sad. I thought we found one. Yeah, I think this is <laughs> going to be permanently closed. I mean, you can see. Yeah, 
all the bushes overgrown here and everything. And we'll go up the drive through the window if I don't hit the bush on the other side of the over here. Yeah, it says open till seven. Oh yeah, the cash registers are gone inside. Um, yeah, everything's emptied inside. It's closed permanently. Cash registers are gone. All the cooking stuff is gone. There's still some seating in here, but yep, it is permanently gone. So another Miss Winters down, sadly. But we tried. We get a piece of chicken for effort. If we can find one, right? I love that look though, Miss Winters.